everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was an absolutely beautiful day, and I went outside, and I will show you that little walk outside. We'll go to that right here. I told Jim I might come out and see what he's doing. He's putting something in his Jeep. I forgot what he said it was. Oh, it's noisy in here. Have you started yet? No. No? What's the motor? Is the, oh, that's the heater. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's all a little bit of heat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it you're going to put in the Jeep? A lower steering shaft. The one that's in there, the these joints are all stiff yeah. and rusty, so they don't they don't turn like they should. It makes the steering very very hard. Yep. And what would it cost if we had it done at the garage? Cost well, us. this part alone was going to be three hundred and fifty dollars, wow. and then another hundred dollars to put it in. Yeah. So it have been four hundred dollars. I spent. 185 on this one. And then you're going to do the work. And then I'll do the work okay. myself. Very good. All right. I cut your head off through that whole thing. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Well, this is the old steering shaft. This end on the top is still nice and smooth. And this is the bottom end. And in this direction, it's still smooth. But this way, you can't make it move. You have to really struggle to get it to move. Yeah. Once you get it moving, it stays moving. But as soon as you stop, then you have to struggle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can get a new U-joint because the rest of the shaft is good. Other than mm -hmm. that one universal. Yeah. So that's why I had to replace it. And I'm wow. all done. You're all done. And saved us a batch of money. Saved us a big batch of money. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Today has been beautiful outside. I decided I would just show me without my extra hair on. But Jim has been outside working just about the whole day. He did um, change, I, show, I showed you the change in the Jeep. Then he went for a little four by four ride to see if he could find the way to my brother's house, but he had to trim brushes. He went along to make a path. And then he said he was coming up here to burn some of the papers that we need to burn. And then he decided he would work on the mower blades. So he's doing that probably now. He swept out the barn too. Are you done with the bl mower blades? Jim? Yeah, he's all done with that. Um, now what are you doing? Just put the last blade on. You sharpen. This is the mower deck that he just sharpened. We missed the whole operation, but that's okay. Because I was taking care of chickens and getting bit by that mean girl. I'm uh -oh. telling you. She's mean terrible. Girls. Yeah. Mean girls are terrible. She, if I'm going to get rid of a chicken, that would be the first one to go. Definitely. Oh. Look at that mower deck. Three blades. It's a big mower deck. It's a, what, five feet? Mm, it's it as is. tall as me. Yeah. It's as tall as me. 60 inch duck. Look at that. Yeah, 60 inches. I'm 60 inches. Believe it or not, that is 16 years old, too. Yes, it's old. The whole tractor is that old. Yep. And this is my newest toy for him to pull around to gather me grass because I use grass in the nesting boxes. It works really good. And we put grass around plants, too, to keep the weeds down. And we registered motorcycles today. Actually, Jim did. He registered motorcycles and he registered his trailer. So we're all set for our June trip. And we asked about my camper because we haven't registered that in a long time. But they've still got that on record. Now we sweep in the barn. Look at this. Constantly doing something. <sighs> I brought him up some deviled eggs. Oh, they were delicious. I'm glad you liked them. He wasn't eating anything, and I thought it's time he had something. I made coffee, but he didn't come in for that, so I didn't bring it out. Your barn is nice and clean in this area. Yep. Try to keep this area clean. Yep. The other area gets um, sawdust if you don't use your vacuum cleaner for the sign and stuff, but he uses that usually. 
so we can gather for my chickens. Everything's for my chickens. Chickens are number one. That's right. Actually, you're number one. Chickens I'm number one. Two. Chickens are number two. And then Jake is number three. <laughs> yeah. And where do you come into this? Uh, what number are you? Number one I and a half? Oh, <laughs> you're not ten. I don't know where I'm at. Brian, another toy. <laughs> That's right. Yep, another Brian toy. tells us that you have a lot of toys. To be a homesteader, you gotta have toys. That's what people call them. They're actually tools, but people call them toys. And there's a vice grip, so you just dropped the vice grip on your toe. Good thing you have steel toes. Yep. <laughs> oh, good heavens. This video is probably gonna be shorter than the other ones, I hope. I keep getting too much stuff. And it's all your stuff. It's because you're busy. I've been just working on comments and watching videos. I've been doing that and giving Pretty Boy the snack and giving Mr. Brown the snack and all the other chickens their snack, their chicken scratch when Pretty Boy crows. Getting bit by that one chicken, that bitten, she bit me twice. She grabbed me twice on the hand, but kind of missed. And then she got my knuckle, which bled just a little bit, but and it doesn't hurt at least. So she didn't get me real bad, but uh, she could have, yeah, she's a bad chicken. She's a really nasty chicken. I don't want her to ever go broody because she probably would have nasty children. <laughs> they pick up the habits of the parents a lot of times. Yeah, they do. Well, I'm gonna go back down. I'm showing everybody my natural hair. <laughs> I hope I don't look like an old lady. You look like a hot little mama. A hot little mama, he says. Am I a hot little mama? You can put that in the comments. I'm going back in the house probably. It is beautiful outside. It's a gorgeous day. Absolutely wonderful day. I did put my eggs outside. Jim's going to bring some to work tomorrow and give them away. I don't want any money for them. I like to give stuff away. I prefer to give it away. I get about 15 eggs a day which is a lot of eggs. Yeah, well, let's go in the house. I will take you in. I gotta go in. Today in the video, I said, the little video you just watched, I said that I had put my eggs outside. Would you believe I sold nine dozen? That is a lot of eggs. I have um, four dozen more to go and we'll, see how it goes. Maybe tonight they'll be gone. I don't know. And if they're not, then Jim can bring them to work and he can give them to the guys and just give them away because I have enough eggs. I get about 15 eggs a day. I think I said that in the video too. I hope you all had a great day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.